Ghana breathtaking STEM educational system is taking the social media space by full force. So today we're going to be talking about the Ghanaian STEM education and we're going to be comparing it to the Nigerian STEM education. You're welcome to my channel. I'm Delicious Army. Here I talk Ghana. I talk Nigeria, South Africa, Kenya and all the issues relating to them. Now many of you might be new to the word STEM. What is STEM? STEM just means science, technology, engineering and mathematics. Yes, I'm breaking it. I'm breaking this down so that everybody can understand my, my message. Yes, it's just science technology engineering and mathematics this is majorly for science students you know in school we have arts we have commercial we have science yes this is majorly for science students but this particular education is different from the one we are used to in a classroom this STEM education promotes critical thinking curiosity persistence decision making leadership entrepreneurship and a lot of things what makes this stem educational system different is that it is more of practical than the theory we always do in school you know in most of our educational systems we are used to the theory they will tell you when you plant this rice here it will grow in three days but you will never go to the lab and practice it this stem education is more of the practical parts of learning than the theory part and the Ghanaian government are you know in full force imploring this in their educational system which i would say is like one of the best things i've heard so far you know over here i'm one person that i'm key on education why because an educated population will create less menace yes the nana akufos and government have um, implemented a lot of stem schools in ghana although some people are saying that it wasn't the nana's administration that started it that it was the one before him that started it what i know is that it was in nana's administration we saw many of these stem schools we have the awaso stem school in the western region of ghana we have the abomosu stem school in the eastern region we have the bosom girls stem school and the bosowete stem school both in the ashanti region of ghana we also have the kwase sex tech already existing school which is located in ahufo region the accra high school and we also have the kesempekem stem school which is you know newly constructed in the north north east region of ghana the major essence of these stem schools is to implore better learning amongst the students you can see the videos on your screen you can see that this is different from what we are used to what we are used to most of the times is the theory aspect most of our schools have laboratory that the students never use but what the Ghanaian educational system are bringing in is the theory part we are seeing the practicals and one thing about these stem schools is that it increases the curiosity in the student for example there are so many engineers they are just engineers in certificates they cannot practice that is because when they were in school they were doing more of theory they did not do practical even if they did practical they did not do enough practicals but, what, but with what the Ghanaian government is introducing to the Ghanaian schools it will you know in the nearest years it will help a lot of Ghanaian students to do very very well in science and technology meaning their economy will grow better they will have more professional doctors more professional surgeons and their students to become hot cake in the international market you all know we have rob robotic schools now the world is involving every single day robots are being invented ai is being invented and anybody that is not you know involving the new inventions in the world you'll be left behind so many in years to come many Ghanaian students will be seen in robotic presentations robotic excursions and their students will be hot cake in international markets you know these foreign countries once they know you are good in robotics you're good in science you're good in technology they will immediately adopt you and give you jobs over there so this will create job, job opportunities for the Ghanaian students not just in Ghana but even outside Ghana now i furthermore did my research and discovered that you know why is it that we don't have so many of these stem schools in nigeria and it's all that we actually have stem schools in nigeria but there are very few and many of them are private schools you know i've always said here that one of the major issues the nigerian educational system is having is lack of funding i will put an article on your screen for you to read i'll try to make it bold for you to see it nigeria have stem schools but the major problem is that lack of funding the government is not funding them you can hear from the um, nana akufo's um, team how much they spend to put up these stem schools all across ghana of course it will cost a lot of money but i feel it the money is not much for the government to afford it the government earns so much from tax 
they earn so much from allocations so stem school should not be something they should complain they cannot do just that they don't want to do it if the Ghanaian government can build STEM schools in Ghana, more than eight STEM schools, why can't the Nigerian government also build STEM schools? Knowing fully well that Nigeria even has a bigger economy, so Nigeria has no excuse. The only truth here is that the government is not invested in education. The government is not doing so much when it comes to education in Nigeria. And I really don't know why. But like I said in my other video, that when you put people that are not educationally driven as ministers of education, this is what you will get. Many Ghanaians are hailing the recent Minister of Education. Why? Because he is delivering. And I discovered and I, you know, I, I checked more on the man. The man is somebody that is an educationist. He's somebody that has enthusiasm when it comes to education. So when you put such people in positions like this, they will give their best. But when you put someone that does not really care about education as a Minister of Education, how do you want them to build the educational system of that country? STEM systems, STEM schools are the way forward. Take it or leave it, especially for those in science, in for those in technology. How can I be a physics student and all I am taught in school is what is physics? I do not practice it. How do you expect me to graduate as a physics student and be able to practice? That is the major problem many African schools, especially West African schools, are having. We have many graduates of several courses that cannot even practice it. For example, we have graduates of chemistry, chemical engineering. If you ask them to mix one or two chemicals, they cannot mix it. They only know what is chemical engineering in their head. Why? Because when they were in school, they were not practicing it. And this is why the Ghanaian educational system is far ahead. Because they are no longer making it theory now. They have now moved further to make it practical. To also involve their students' brain, their students' innovation in such a way that they do not only know these um, things, you know, as theory, but when they are, you know, brought to the practical world when they are brought to the open world they can also practice so that is just it it's not just to learn things in the classroom you need to also practicalize it in fact i even know that practicalizing something even helps you learn it better than when you're you know sitting down and learning it in the classroom so i would say a big kudos to the Ghanaian government they are investing so much in education and trust me go and watch any government that invests so much in education they would bring out better people better graduates better economy because they always say the children are the leaders of tomorrow yes when the future is not educated what do you expect from such future although many are saying that oh this is not enough that nana kufo did not do so much that he's just trying to round up now because elections are near to me i don't know how the ghanaian um politics is being done but with what i've seen here i feel nana has done well in ensuring that these stem schools are not just stem schools stem schools but they have been brought to reality and this current stem school you're seeing on your screen according to the informations i got they will be you know opened and be commissioned as from next month so this is something that i will really you know look forward to in nigeria we can have more stem school like this imagine uh most of our schools don't have stem school education yet our students are doing well in science and technology we are smashing scholarships. In my next video, I'll be showing you guys a Nigerian girl that her brain is hot. Imagine without STEM schools, we are doing this well in science and technology. Imagine when the government now established STEM schools, free STEM schools, because the Ghanaian STEM school system is free. Not established STEM school system and you're charging people above their, their earnings or above their means. Imagine the Nigerian government now bringing in STEM school system into our educational sector. Imagine how our students will do better. So once more, this is a big win for Ghanaians. And then um, I really say a big kudos to them. My lovelies, feel free to drop your own opinions in the comment section. Do all by liking the video. Do all by subscribing to the channel. I'm Delicious Army. I talk Ghana. I talk Nigeria, South Africa, Kenya, and all the good stuff relating to them. I will see you in my next one, my beautiful people. Bye-bye.